Hi, it's Fernbark here, and uh, I was doing some uh, work on my travel trailer, and uh, I, had, I, I was unhooking this from my power cord because I had it hooked up to the uh, 110 house power. Uh, this is a 30 amp to 15 amp adapter, uh, also known as a dog bone, and uh, sometimes I see where people ask, are these safe or not safe? And I think they're the answer to that question is if they're as safe as you are, and I'll explain here in just a second. This is the 15 amp side of the adapter, and as you can see, there's a lot. This is black, and there's a little bit of bubbling going on right around here, and the other side's got some discoloration too. And that's a result of heat built up because I was pulling too many amps through it. And the, the problem was uh, the power cord I was using that was hooked up to this was too small to do the job. I think it was like 14 gauge wire. Uh, the wire that's in here, let me zoom out a little bit, this is the same wire that your travel trailer, your 30 amp service uses, that's 10 gauge. And this is rated for 30 amps. Uh, the most extension cords are not rated for that kind of power. You can find a 10 gauge extension cord, but they are super expensive. Using state-of-the-art graphics, what I've done is created a mock-up of my uh, fuse panel, or not fuse panel, but circuit panel, circuit breaker panel, uh, in my travel trailer. And it comes with a 30 amp main, uh, there's a separate breaker for the AC, the fridge, the microwave. The GFI, uh, that's just all the outlets scattered about the trailer all hooked together in one circuit. And the water heater. And then uh, what I have down in the bottom in red is that's my battery charger. It doesn't have an AC circuit breaker. It has a DC breaker, but it is going to pull 5.87 amps. And what I've done, uh, these are actual observed amperage use that I've you, uh, observed in my travel trailer because I'm trying to run it off of solar, so I'm being hyper-conscious of the amount of power that I'm using. But if, say, you were just plugging this thing for the winter and uh, weren't thinking too much about it, it's real easy to exceed the 15 amps uh, that your cord is rated for. And it's probably actually less if you're using too thin of an extension cord. It's only going to be 15 amps if you're using uh, a heavy enough gauge wire. So uh, just to kind of look at it, if you leave your water heater on to keep that from freezing and your fridge if you leave your fridge turned on uh, you're right you're pretty close to 13 amps you run anything else in this travel trailer you're gonna you're not gonna pop this main fuse but you will burn up your cord if you have it hooked up to a 15 amp breaker uh, on your house side that 15 amp trip breaker should hopefully trip and and not uh, burn anything but if you have it connected in your garage you might have a 20 or a 30 amp and then you have you stand a pretty good chance of boiling your cord uh, I just wrote in here a couple things I like to use in here uh, would be a heater I have two settings there's a was it a 1200 1100 watt and a 900 watt but anyhow they work out to 11 at 7 amps uh, when you turn them on my coffee maker pull 7 so uh, you know I can't run the coffee maker and the microwave and the fridge all at the same time you, you kinda have to space out what you want to use but uh... yeah you just gotta be really conscious about what you're doing if you're gonna use one of those adapters anyhow hope this helps somebody